Hi, my name is John, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, solve a problem where you have an older hard drive that doesn't take the uh, new USB 3.0 ports that come on uh, most newer model computers. The hard drive's still good, but the speeds of FireWire 800 and USB 2.0 aren't really cutting it anymore. We're going to take a uh, old G-RAID uh, FireWire 800 eSATA and USB 2.0 uh, hard drive enclosure. We're going to open this up. We're going to take the hard drives out of it and we're going to put them into a new uh, USB 3.0 hard drive dock. And the reason for this is the USB 3.0 speeds are incredibly fast. Uh, they solve most of your problems, especially if you're video editing and you want to use an external drive or uh, you know, you have a lot of movies and you need to copy them or, or even back up your drives. So the G-RAID uh, is special in that it has two drives, but it emulates as one. So by taking this apart, we're actually going to split it into two drives. So you will be limited to two terabytes a piece with a uh, four terabyte G-RAID, but it's okay. Um, I, I use it for a backup, so I back one up to the other, and I know that my, my data is protected. So what we'll do is we'll open this up, we'll safely take out the hard drives, and I'll show you how to install them into your new USB 3.0 dock. These are 3.5 inch hard drives. Uh, most G-RAIDs come with that size. Uh, if you have a 2.5 inch, it's about the same. Just make sure that your USB 3.0 dock can handle 2.5 inch drives and 3.5 inch drives. The USB 3.0 hard drive dock typically costs between $30 and $45. Uh, versus buying a new hard drive, which can cost you uh, several hundred dollars. So we're going to rescue this drive and I'll show you how to do it. This is a spudger and we use it to get into little areas and remove connectors that otherwise would be ruined if we used a metal object like a screwdriver. We're also going to use a screwdriver. We're going to turn this over and you notice that there's six screws on the back, but one is covered with a seal that says warranty void if removed. If you remove this, your warranty is invalid. However, by the time you're having this problem, your warranty is already expired anyway, as is the case with mine. So we're gonna take these off. We have all six screws removed. You can pick a side and you can push on one end and it pops out. Well, we have to remove four screws, which I've already removed. There's one, two, and three, four. And you just remove those screws. Is we're going to use the spudger to disconnect these wires. Once we remove these screws on the side here, you can pull up on this hard drive and you can see there's four different cable connectors. We're going to use the spudger to disconnect them and it easily removes them from their spot. Just add light pressure at first and then eventually you'll figure out exactly what's needed to remove it. Now check to make sure there's any more wires. You can see there's not. Sometimes there's a grounding wire attached to it. You'll want to take off that grounding wire. And now we'll remove the screws from the plate. There's six screws. Now that we've taken the screws off, the drives effortlessly come apart. And now you have two 3.5 inch drives. You'll notice the size comparison between the 2.5 inch and the 3.5 inch. They're rather large. Here's what the docking station looks like. And you can see it has uh, two different slots. One for the 2.5 inch drive and one for the 3.5 inch drive. And the drawer opens up so that you can put both drives in. So you line up the SATA 2 ports on the inside and on the drive itself, and the drive slips right inside, like so. You may have a similar USB docking station. They're all pretty much the same. I recommend using a battery backup anytime you're gonna be working with hard drives where your data needs to be protected in case of a power outage. And as you can see here, we have uh, two separate drives. I recommend that if you're gonna plug them in, 
since they're openly exposed, that you use a towel or a glove or something so that you prevent yourself from getting shocked. And then we turn them on. Now what you can do after you've plugged your drives into your USB 3.0 dock is go into the disk utility and you'll see the two drives on the left hand side of your disk utility window. And you can erase these drives by clicking here and go erase. Pick the format that you want, XFAT or if you're switching between Mac and PC or Mac OS X Extended Journal, which is what I use. If we go to Blackmagic Disk Tester and we choose a drive, let's use a 2 gigabyte stress test, and we'll choose GRAID 1. And now we'll see how fast this drive is. 130 megabytes per second. That's a lot faster than 65. That's at least double the speed. So as you can see, you've dramatically increased your uh, use of the drive and that's going to help you out a lot and that's all there is to it. You've successfully taken the two 3.5 inch drives out of the G-RAID hard drive enclosure and put them into a USB 3.0 docking station and now you have two drives that you can use anytime you need them. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope that it can help you solve your problem uh, with your hard drive. And don't forget to click like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions or comments, just uh, type them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. We'll have more videos coming out for you shortly, so stay tuned.